Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 7. In this question we're told the ratio of a to b is equal to 3 to 5. This means to find b we just need to do 5 thirds of a. Now we're given a in the question, it's this. So to find b we're going to take a, divide it by 3 and multiply it by 5. Now if we divide by 3 and multiply by 5 the power of 2 will remain unchanged, so 2 to the power 3. And if we divide it by 3, the power of 3 will go down, so instead of 3 to the 4, 3 to the 3. And if we multiply by 5, the power of 5 will go up by 1, so instead of 20, 21. Now we move on to the next part, we're told that c equals 25% of b, or c equals 1 quarter of b. So to find c, I need to divide b by 4. Now 4 is equal to 2 squared, so to divide b by 4, I could just reduce the power of 2 down by 2. So I guess c equals 2 to the power 1 times 3 cubed times 5 to the 21. Now let's move on to the next part. So it says d equals 136c. I'm going to prime factorise 136. It equals 2 to the power 3 times 17. So all I need to do to get d is multiply c by this. So d equals, now if I multiply it by 2 to the power 3 and there's already a 2 there, I get 2 to the power 4. The powers of 3 and 5 will remain unchanged, and then there's a 17 now at the end. And on to the final part. We're told E is 92% greater than D. So to get E, I'll start with D and multiply it by 192 over 100, which we could write like this. Now let's prime factorise 100, that's 2 squared times 5 squared, and we could actually cancel out the denominator here by reducing the numerator powers of 2 and 5 by 2. So let's remove this denominator, and on the top, the power of 2 and 5 will decrease by 2, so 2 to the 4 becomes 2 squared, and 5 to the 21 becomes 5 to the 19. Now we've got this 192 over here, that's not a prime number, so let's prime factorise that. It's 2 to the power 6 times 3, so we need to multiply the 2 squared by 2 to the power 6, and the 3 to the 3 by 3. This will give you 2 to the power 8, and 3 to the power 4. And now we have e in its prime factor form, and that's the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.